And in this video, we're going to show you how to pair your Vizio soundbar to your Echo Dot. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another tech tip. We are going to keep things pretty straightforward today and long story short, I was using the second gen uh, Echo Dot downstairs playing some music the other day and noticed how sucky the speaker was in it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to take your Echo Dot and pair it over to a Bluetooth speaker to get some better sound. For today's demo, we are going to be using the Vizio 5.1 uh, surround sound soundbar. So let's jump right in. Now the first step or all this is to get your Bluetooth speaker into its pairing mode and because every device is different, you're going to either want to A, Google search your model number or if you still have the manual, just search in the manual to figure out how to uh, get your device into pairing mode. So. Once you've already done that, again, we are demoing this on the Vizio soundbar 5.1, but it should also be the same process for most Vizio soundbars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the Bluetooth button on the top for five seconds. And then once it gets into pairing mode, you're gonna notice on the left-hand side, you're gonna get some lights that are moving from top to bottom. They're kind of bouncing up and down, but you're also gonna get like three tones indicating that the device is now in pairing mode. Now, once you've done that, you are gonna want to go into the Amazon app. So if you haven't gone through and set up your Echo device already, you're gonna want to do that first. I'll go ahead and post up a video in the top right-hand card that covers how to set up the Echo device for the initial configuration. So we've got the Echo device here. We are gonna go into the Amazon Alexa app. So if we tap on that, once that loads, you can go down in the bottom right-hand corner and tap on devices. Now from here, you're gonna to want to come up here towards the top left and you're gonna see where it says Echo and Alexa. Go ahead and tap on that. Now you'll notice that I have multiple uh, Echo Dots set up in this house. So you're gonna to want to choose which device you want to attach the Bluetooth speaker to. So in this example, we are in the living room. So I'm gonna tap on living room. And about a third of the way down or about halfway down the page, we're gonna tap on where it says Bluetooth devices. And it says select a previously paired device or no pair and no paired Bluetooth devices are found. So if you already have it paired, it may show up in this list. It's just disconnected. You may want to try to reconnect to it. Otherwise, go ahead and tap on where it says pair a new device. From here, it's going to start searching for devices in the area. And you can see right here, the Vizio SB3651 just popped up. So that is this soundbar. So we're going to go ahead and tap on it. And then we're gonna get some indications over here on the right that shows us that it is connecting. And it may have been hard to hear, but there was a tone on the uh, dot and also the soundbar indicating that the pair was successful. And then now you can see that pair of devices and the Vizio shows up underneath it. Now, before we go back, if you need to disconnect it, you can tap on this little arrow, you can disconnect device, or you can forget device, say it's not working and you need to repair it or whatever, you can come on down, tap on forget device and repeat that process and go through the steps again. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and hit on cancel because now that we are connected, you can also change the volume if you'd like to. But the biggest thing is, is right here, if we go back one screen, so if we were in Bluetooth devices, we hit cancel, it takes us back to this screen. Scroll down just a little bit. You're gonna to want to pay attention where it says connected devices. Speaker, go ahead and click on change. Now from here, I already have mine set to Bluetooth, so one speaker paired, but yours may have defaulted to built-in speaker, indicating that when you play music or it plays the commands or whatever you have, it's going to use the internal speaker on the dot. I don't want that. I want to play through the Bluetooth device, especially if I'm playing some type of music from Spotify or whatever. I, of course, want it to play through the soundbar. So I'm gonna go down and tap on Bluetooth. Now, as you can see, once you have Bluetooth selected, it's gonna say one speaker paired, and it's gonna, whatever command you say or whatever music you want it to play is now going to play whatever Bluetooth speaker is connected to that dot at that time. So if we go ahead and give this a test, Alexa, Play Circles from Post Malone. Circles by Post Malone from Spotify. Alexa, stop. So as you can see, it'll now play through the Bluetooth speaker, giving you much better sound. And that is all there is to it. As you can see, it's a really simple process to connect your Echo Dot over to your Bluetooth speaker. That is going to wrap up today's tech tip. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I certainly do appreciate it. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and a share, and also subscribe and ring the bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>